So basically, my brother James and I, we, uh, we fell out. What is up people? How is it going? And welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Well, the world is in a bit of a panic at the moment. I haven't really been going out or doing that much uh, over the last like four or five days. I've been self-isolating to the best of my ability with Evie. We've, we've tried to keep this house as clean as possible. We have Dettol in lots of different areas. We got Dettol here. We got two packs of Dettol here. We have anti-back. We're running low on toilet paper and supplies are thin because everyone keeps stockpiling. Can I just say? Yeah. We were not stockpiling. No, we weren't stockpiling. And that's something that I actually wanted to touch on now because although it is a bit of a crazy time in the world and everyone's getting a little bit worried that they might run out, don't be greedy and don't take more than what you need. Like shops, they're running out of stuff because everyone's buying more than they've ever bought and the shops can't keep up with it. If people just bought what they needed, there wouldn't be a shortage. I went into Waitrose yesterday and this is how bad the effect of everyone buying lots of stuff has happened on the stores. So this is the bread aisle. No bread. Oh, it looks like we're not getting any soda water. All right, all right, cheerio. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, no. Fresh pizza is gone. Pasta sauce is gone. Cooked meat, all gone. Cheese is pretty much gone as well. No sugar or flour. Great. The chickens haven't been producing any eggs either. If you're looking to get paracetamol, you might as well go elsewhere. And also, you're not going to be smelling fresh because all the deodorant and shower gel has all gone. Most of the water's pretty much gone. Absolutely nothing. I've never, never experienced anything like this. No toilet roll. But this is my kind of aisle. Not getting much in milk. Milk is very, very scarce forget about breakfast this is just mental this all the rice noodles pasta sauces literally everything has been taken this is a joke right now there's absolutely nothing at least we have the easter eggs though as you can see there's literally like nothing the only thing really there is easter eggs so for easter we're absolutely fine but for everything else we are in trouble especially toilet paper i haven't seen toilet paper for over a week now. I mean, I mean, that sounds like we haven't had toilet paper. We have toilet paper, but I haven't no, seen any in store. Yes, we, we do. Using those oh yes, that's right. We've been using the fajitas as toilet paper. What we did buy though was uh, some wine. If we, uh, you know, trapped here for a while, got to have a glass of wine. It was like six bottles and 20, buy six bottles, get like 25% off. So that was just a deal that we just could not resist, really. Well, of course not. No, of course, <laughs> of course not. So McDonald's and Nando's to close all UK restaurants. What? What am I going to do? I think you know what we need to do. We need to get a last minute McDonald's because... And it's arrived! What good timing is that? Oh, there we are. There we are. Right, so... Oh, the five chicken selects. I feel like I'm not gonna have for like months. This is this is gonna be absolutely months before we have this again. It's scary not being able to have a McDonald's. I know it's it's mental. The mental times we live in. Well, um, I'm gonna feast on this McDonald's and, and savor the last I'm gonna have in a very long time. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. Actually, oh my god, it looks like someone's eaten it. Look. Genuinely, someone has bitten that. Look, oh, I think I'll risk it, right? No! Risk it. No. Okay, really? right. Don't be so silly. Sometimes you just got to take a risk. Right, let's put this. Oh, let's properly savour this. This could be four months. Four I months. I love KFC. I love mm. both, but I do love KFC chicken. Right. I don't think KFC is shutting down, though. Oh, are they not? It's only, it's only McDonald's and Nando's. Oh, it's so good though. I'm gonna miss this. Well, there is a, there's a lot of crazy things happening in the world at the moment. I, I don't know. I don't even know where to, where, where to begin with it. And with this happening, filming videos is a little bit trickier um, because everyone is kind of keeping their distances and working from home. But I'm gonna try my best and keep doing as much content as possible with staying pretty much in the apartment. There is one thing that I wanted to talk about which you guys have been asking a lot about on the videos and that's where's James? Like what's he up to? Is he doing exams? Like have you guys fallen out? Like what's the truth? What's happened? Because he's been in all of my videos and then all of a sudden we just like stopped. And the truth is, 
me and James, we, uh, we, we fell out a little bit and we just, we just thought that we just needed a break, really. Um, I think we, we've been filming videos for so long and whenever we kind of see each other, we're always filming something, whether that's for vlog stuff or that's main channel video stuff. And when we first started, obviously YouTube, it wasn't really a job or anything. It was a massive hobby and there was added perks of being paid a little bit of money on the side. And now it's turned into this kind of like big, I think is a stressy business environment and you gotta keep on your game, otherwise you don't become relevant anymore. There's so many different factors that make it so much more intense than what it should be. It should just be like having a laugh and having fun and it wasn't. James and I we were filming, whenever we'd film we'd always bicker, we'd always argue, we'd always like try and almost purposely annoy each other and it just got to the point where we were both just like, look, I think we both need a break from this to just like hang out with each other and to chill out other than filming we can't just be filming all the time when we see each other because it's just then such a sort of a, a stressy tense environment of like trying to get videos done and we'd normally we'd normally film two to three videos in a day and you can imagine like it takes a while to get the videos done and to make them of a high quality uh, believe it or not, a lot of people just think you sit down and film uh, like what I'm doing now. So you can do that, but not all the time. Someone is calling me. So yeah, to answer it bluntly, James and I, we fell out. Um, we have been speaking, we have seen each other a little bit, but we haven't really sorted out the core of the issue and we still kind of need to talk about it and work on a couple of things but he's expressed that he wants to film with me again. I of course want to film with him. It is fun, but we just went down this root of just getting annoyed with each other and just being brothers like that's what siblings do siblings fight and especially when you're mixing with like having fun with trying to work and get something done it causes tension of course but it's not all bad james is actually coming down today uh we're hanging out for the day um and yeah we need to get this sorted so that you know we can film again and things are fine and it's not gonna cause us to have arguments. So, uh, we've been, we've been chatting for the last half an hour or so. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like we're, we're good now, are we? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're, we're good. good. All right, awesome. Okay, so, we're not going to stress, we're not going to argue, we're just going to try and have as much fun as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. We need to do what you love. We need to do what we love, and that is filming some videos! And also we're having to celebrate James's birthday a little bit earlier, so um, that's also that. So guys, leave in the comments section below an early happy birthday to James, because it's his birthday on the 30th, which is very, very soon. I'm also making a TikTok tonight for James's birthday. What are you making? <laughs> Okay. Ooh, very okay. nice. Very nice. James is turning 17. 17. Big That's one just seven. The ones, the big one seven. We're doing my theory in a couple months. Also, oh, that is on his list, the I big think theory. I ask the viewers what, what they think about James's new haircut. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about your new haircut? I mean, it's alright. Yeah? yeah? Guys, what do you think about James's haircut? Right, Let me it's know. It's better than Kylie's hair. Like, I, I actually quite like it. I think it's I cool. Like it straight yeah. With a wave. yeah, I think it's cool, mate. You're rocking the new yeah. style. You're a trendsetter. Yeah. Everyone's gonna now have haircuts like this. 100%. It's going down. We're cooking. Yes, yes, yes. Look. Look at those cupcakes. You're making rainbow, rainbow unicorn. unicorn, and the unicorn things are there. You're making a lot of noise. This is a racket. Uh, they're the unicorns. TikTok. No, don't try and plug your TikTok. Well, Don't try and plug your gonna, TikTok. That's where it's gonna go. Okay, well. Sprayed my hair. What's your TikTok? Uh, I forgot. It's White. <laughs> go, go, go search. Oh my god, look at that. We're mixing the icing. I think that's too much icing. No. I think that's way too much. Three massive bowls of icing. For, oh, you got some more. Ooh, they look good. The bigger ones. The bigger ones. They look really cool. I just want to try one. Just do one, do one secretly.
I actually don't know how I'm going to do it. Right, so what, what are we doing, Eves? What's so we're the... making like a, oh, I, I don't really know how to call it, like a rainbow icing sugar effect. Yeah, but you gotta, you got to wrap this you gotta, I'm going to wrap it all over, but I'm just trying to figure out oh, which no. way I wrap this, it. This could go wrong, but I'll tell you what, this, mmm, it was beautiful. Right, come on, I believe in you. Okay, so I've got to go this way. Oh my gosh, oh my god, I'm oh my so god. scared. Just do it. Go! Oh, yes! Yes, nice! And then I bring this one up that way. You've done it! I've done a good job. Wow, you have. I'm proud of myself. So now when you fill it, there's going to be three three different colours. Yeah. It looks like a, it looks like a fruity, multicoloured sausage. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I like to make. Multicoloured sausages. And now I've got to pop it in the refrigerator. Okay, I feel like you've done a very good job I of these cupcakes. These things, one. though. Yeah, the horns. <laughs> <laughs> this one doesn't have any eyes, so it just, it looks like it's his nose. They look good. This one's my favorite. Theme. That one's the best one you've done. That's the daddy. Oh my word. The UK goes into full lockdown with the British public ordered to stay at home. Damn. Here it is. We are now on lockdown. Boris says, UK, you must. Stay at home. No way, oh my god. I think it's so good. I'm so, like, I feel a lot happier about that. Right, well, stay at home. James, I know we said we were gonna hang out so much more, buddy, but like, but like, we can't. We literally can't. It Don't was worry. good. As soon as this all blows It was blows good to over, see you today, but we, we can't. And it's safe for everyone. Exactly. Gotta look out for everyone in these times. Well, there we are, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. We're in complete lockdown. Which is not good at all. So I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days. I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can for you guys. But if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, then please leave it in the comment section below. And I hope everyone's keeping safe. I hope everyone is well. And we're going to get through these tough times. And we just need to stick together and stay indoors. Wash your hands and just keep clean. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye. Woohoo!